Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you have POD number 13 on the board. I'm in the building. Uh, if you need me for something, uh, today may be the last day that you can uh, start to get ready uh, to get a good grade on my test. Uh, after today, if you've not studied, you're going to be in trouble. So uh, your test is Friday. Your PODs and folders are due. This is POD number 13 on the board. What speech did Barack Obama give last night? Surely you had to watch television. 3, 6, 12. Lots of clapping. That's right, the State of the Union. All right, so uh, today in class I've got some um, some work for you to do. Uh, I'm in the building. Uh, if you need me this afternoon, I will be here. Uh, I had Scholar Bowl this morning. Uh, so the first thing I need you to do uh, is to take out your follow-along answer sheet. Uh, we'll make sure we go over these very quickly. Uh, we'll time this so we can be done by the end of the hour, and you can be ready for your test tomorrow. So, question number th one. Are you ready? All right, so now you just have to tell me, question number one, what is the state? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Question number one. What is the state? Take a guess, and here we go. Question number two. What is the state? Think about it. Process of elimination. Last chance, here we go. Question three. What state is directly to the east of us? Question four. What is that state? Question five. What is it? Finally, rounding out the states, what is question number six? All right, so before we move on, very quickly, we'll run through. Uh, in case you didn't get it, start off easy, Illinois. Number one should be B. Number two, this is Iowa. Should be F. Number three, this is Indiana. Should be C. Number four, it's Kentucky. Should be G. Number five, it's Florida. It should be D, as in dog. Number six is the show me state, Missouri. It's A. So right now, you either know it or you don't know it. Uh, we're going to move on uh, around the world, but we'll take about six questions at a time. Uh, when we move on to a new topic, uh, we'll go back and make sure you have the right answers. Ooh, we just had a quiz over this yesterday. Many of you did well. Some of you just didn't study. So now 1 through 11, what is this country in Europe? Be nice by now if you realize that this is a map of Europe. If you're not there yet, we'll get there. Question number eight. What is this country in Europe? If you can remember your mnemonic device, some freshmen get picked up. It could help you on this question. Question number nine. What is this country? Kind of looks like a, a boot to me. I don't know what it looks like to you. I don't care. I just need you to know it for tomorrow. Question number 10. What is this country? It's off the coast of another country, almost like on its front porch or something. What is this country? Question 11. In Europe again, what's this country? It was not on your quiz yesterday. We labeled it. I told you I needed to know it. It's got about three different names that we could take. What is number 11? 1 through 11. Pick one. Number 12. Uh, let's see. Nine sweet fish. No school is fun. However, you can remember those finger countries at the top in Scandinavia, please. What is PO, uh, What is number 12? It's something. 
Next question, 13. As you're narrowing it down, what could it be? Mm, something. The mind devices help. 14. Uh, the other one. Uh, some freshmen get picked up. What country? You got it, you got it, you got it, good. Uh, getting close here. What, what country is this one? At the bottom. Africa is down here. You got to label all this area and the seas here for me yesterday. If you didn't get that finished, it's due tomorrow. Any 10 that you've labeled is good. After that, it's extra credit. Let's go back. I think we got through question number seven. Make sure you have the right answers. This should be Ireland. Ireland is number nine. I couldn't find it. Uh, this should be some freshman. It's France. Should be number two. This is Italy. Should be number three. Number ten is Portugal. Front porch there, number four. Eleven is England. Sometimes called Great Britain. Take a few more areas into it, call it the UK. Number 11 is at 1. Number 12, Norway. Norway is number 8. NSF, Finland, number 6. Some freshmen get picked up. It's Poland, it's number 5. This is Spain, down at the bottom. All right, moving on. Uh, to South America and Central America. Tomorrow you'll have to label number 16 on your test. Sorry, Friday. Number 16 is what? Take a guess. Moving on. 17. What is this country? It's north. They've got a lot of oil. We depend on them. We need 20 million barrels of oil a day. Pick one. Number 18. Our neighbor directly to the south. Some people missed this on their first quiz. That's why we took a quiz, so you'd know it for your test. 320 points on Friday. Big test over geography. Number 19. What is this one? We didn't move very far. We didn't move very much. It kind of connects with North America, if that helps you. This country is called the Isthmus. Narrow strip of land connecting two larger bodies of land. What is number 20? Pick one. All right, quick to review. Quick review. Uh, for number 16, you should have hit Brazil. It should have been A. 17, you should have put Venezuela. Venezuela is letter E. 18 is Mexico. Mexico is letter D. Next one is Colombia. It connects. The C's help me. If it doesn't help you, learn something else. It should be G. 20 is the Isthmus of Panama. All right, moving on. Uh, larger areas. This goes right along with your review sheet. I'm sure you've looked at it, studied it. Uh, you'll have to know what continent that we live in. I don't see a number for this one, so just know that we live in North America. This one here again uh, could be duh, it's directly south of North America. Scary if you don't know it. Should be South America, don't have to write it down. Next one, this is the one that you spent some time on this week. It's Europe. Lots of areas in Europe. This is the mountain range that you were supposed to label for me yesterday. I think it's like number 23, but we'll go over it tomorrow. The Ural Mountains that separates Europe from Asia. This is Europe. Asia, the largest continent. This is Australia, and we call this area around it Oceana. So Australia and Oceana, uh, I'll probably keep it simple and old school on your test tomorrow. It will look like Australia. Test Friday, sorry. 
All right, narrow body uh, of water that is man-made right here. Man-made canal through an isthmus. It's the Panama Canal. Uh, you should know some oceans for me. This is, of course, the Atlantic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. It's bigger. Okay, on your paper again, back to number 21. You're going to do this one for me. you got A through F. Very similar to your test on Friday, 21. What is this country? Think about it. Write it down. 22. We're moving kind of quickly. we got a lot to cover. 22. What is this country? It's right there in the middle of Asia. Fairly large country in Asia. Next question. It's number 23, A through F, what is this country? First fighting the Spanish-American War, we said started right there, because Spain used to own them. What is the country? 24, uh, also a continent and a country. What is it? We looked at the climate of this. Remember all the deserts? Desert, 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 desert. Mm, narrow strip of, like, not-so-dry land. Down under. 25. What's this country? Some people have trouble when we're not, you know, completely centered. The map is moved one way or the other. They have trouble finding their bearings. Uh, there should be some countries that could get you a little bit more of a focus. Find that. Find this country. All right, we're narrowing in here. What is this country right here? 90 miles south of Florida. <coughs> What's this country? Thinking right. And here we go. 27. You're racking your brain. The island of Hispaniola, this is the much richer country. What is it? See, so we've got Mojave, Cuba, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, Colombia, and Sahara. Pick one. Here we go. Ah, remember, my grandmother has never cooked pie. My grandmother has never cooked pie. What is number 28? It seems like we've uh, gone over this one before. It should be a good review for you for right now. Since we're on the world map, what is number 29? The last one before we review. What is this area in the northern part of Africa? Take a shot. Here we go. All right, let's review very quickly. I'll go back to where we started. It was question 21. You should have labeled 21 as China. should be letter A. 22, you should have labeled as India. should be letter D. 23, you should have labeled as the Philippines. should be letter B. 24, you should have labeled as Australia. should be letter E. 25, you should have labeled as Canada, should be letter F. 26, you should have labeled as Cuba, or Cuba to us and in the United States, should be letter B. 27, the tricky one here. Haiti's on this side, the Dominican Republic. It's the other half of the island of Hispaniola, should be letter D. 28, our mnemonic device, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. This is the one we had here, Nicaragua. This should be C. Number 28 is C. 29, Colombia. It connects to North America. Letter E. 30, the Sahara Desert. Very hot, very dry. Largest non-polar desert in the world. 31 is we're changing courses. You should be caught up. You have a one in three shot of getting this right. Good luck. Put it down. We'll review very quickly. What is this river? Not entirely straight. So looks like it goes right around a state right there. Maybe the state goes right around it. 
you don't know this river, you need to study it. 33. Largest river by volume in the world. Runs through South America. Please label. Okay, quick review. Uh, number one, Nile River. River Nile. Next, Mississippi River. And finally, the Amazon River. I didn't write river up there, sorry. Countries in the Middle East. Think back to our day about the Middle East. We saw every country to see. Uh, this country is a little smaller, if that helps you. I, I know this is a world map. If we blow it in a little bit, that would be hel helpful. Uh, but if you can remember uh, the Middle Eastern map that I did give you, that is your key to doing well on this test. We gave you lots of little bitty maps. This is also online for you to help you remember. What's this country? 34. Pick one. 35. Next country. also in the Middle East. Your substitute today may have been there. You'll have to ask her. 36. What is this country? It's the big chunky one. It was my way of remembering it. You may have your own. Pick one, you'll be good. 30 least here's the Mediterranean Sea here if you there you can always pick out Italy so if you're having trouble Mediterranean this is all water right here would maybe help if it was blue what is this country right off the Mediterranean this country the one that's got all the oil we have to love them what country is it We're sticking to reviewing. Let's go back and go through one more time. The Middle East, as we're here, number 34. That is where we started back. If you can look back at 34, uh, you should have put B, Iraq. 35, you should have put E, Afghanistan. 36 is the big country. If you're, if you're kind of big, you may need to run. That's an awful way for me to remember it. But that's kind of how I remember it. I don't remember these two countries without uh, a mnemonic device. Just like when you're going to become a doctor, all 206 bones in the body, you're going to have to learn, come up with a way to get it. And it's Turkey. should be letter D, number 37. Number 38 is Saudi Arabia, letter C. Okay, moving around the world. I hope you can locate this continent. I'm sure it's going to come up somewhere on your test. A lot of people try to call this South America before we start geography. I hope that you're better at this now. Uh, so number 39, pick one of these countries here, A through F. There are some places you need to know in Africa. <coughs> number 40, the big country used to be called Zaire. If you're looking at my world map in the front of the room, the back of the room looks like something else. What is it? 41. What could it be? Remember uh, to tell the difference between male and female. Male Africa is a male country, if that helps you. Male country should be cake, if you can remember that. Same thing, 43. Sorry, I'm going fast. Thought you'd know this. Thought you'd be ready. All right, before we go on, let's go back. Review. Starting with South Africa. This should be letter F. Number 39 is F. Number 40, the Democratic Republic of Congo, formerly Zaire. 41, if you remember that Africa is a male country, Morocco, Algeria, Libya, Egypt. This should be Algeria, Algeria, letter A. Libya, letter E. They've been in the news a lot lately. And finally, Egypt, letter D. All right, moving on from Africa, number 44. We are almost done. Uh, this is Europe. This is the map that you did for me for homework last night. Now that I didn't collect it yet, some of these should help you out, especially if you are not done with that map yet. At the end of class today, we'll have some time to finish up uh, as we're about halfway done. What is the body of water in between England, if that helps you, 
and continental Europe. I'll give you a little more time on this. A through F, pick one. We'll come back. The next country, it's an island country off the coast of Italy. What is this tiny island? The next country is right below it. A little bigger island. I can't imagine them eating a little canned fish there, but they may. What is the island in the Mediterranean? Another island. This is Greece here. We had to label it for your big quiz yesterday. What is the island country off the coast of Greece? Pick one. The next river runs through downtown Paris. You'll have to take me with you as I probably can't afford to go on my own. However, one day when you're super rich, remember your geography teacher and the guy who taught you what this river was called. You can impress your fiancé. Big body of water. Lots of blue, lots of blue, lots of blue, lots of blue. What is this large body of water down here? Large body of water. We may have a little bit too much blue as uh, you are going to look at some more seas around these places. Big C. 49. Pick one. Uh, getting kicked by a boot. Gosh, what a sissy. If you get kicked by the big boot here, you have to know that you're kind of a sissy. It's our way to remember this country. Uh, another body of water. It's uh, up there. It's uh, up on a map. Uh, if you can remember that direction up on a map, uh, the blue area up here should help you a little bit. What sea is this? 51. I alluded to this earlier. This is a mountain range. Here. Don't those look like mountains, kind of? I'm a great artist. I know. Thank you. Uh, mountain range separating Europe from Asia. What are these mountains? Mountains. Europe from Asia. More mountains. Looks like it's going right through the Switzerland and Italy and France right there. Some tall mountains. What are they? Uh, one of the longest rivers in Europe. What is number 54? Got two river choices. Guess wisely. Last one before we review. These were tricky. Your map was hard to read in your book, I know, also in your agenda. What is this area here? It's a narrow, narrow waterway. It's not man-made between two larger pieces of land. 55. Pick something. And here we go. We're going to go back to review. I think we started with number 43. Sorry, 44. Uh, this channel right in between England and France is called the English Channel. We've mentioned that big, huge train underneath the uh, channel. We call it the channel, the underground tunnel. English Channel, 44 should have been B. Uh, this is Corsica, small island. Number 45 should be A. That for sure is on your homework. 46. We gave you the sardine joke. Again, we don't have funny jokes in social studies, and Mr. Hopkins is just not either. What was this? Sardinia should be letter C. Sardinia. 47. Uh, as we're looking at number 47 here, we are off the coast of Greece in the island of Crete. Island of Crete off the coast of Greece, number 47. 
should be E. 48, the river sign. Uh, they, they sometimes call it backwards, because they're a little backwards in Europe anyway, river sign. You can call it the sign river, it's okay with me, but uh, a faux pas en français. 49, uh, this is the Mediterranean. We've got a little bit too much blue in here, as there are some smaller seas uh, mixing in. Mediterranean is the big one, though. Should be letter E. 49, should be letter E. 50, getting kicked by a boot. If you get kicked, you're a sissy. I'm sorry. This is B, Sicily. 50 is B, Sicily. Probably could add that to your homework. Any 10 you have or for a grade after 10 could be extra credit. Many of you need it. This is the up sea, we call it. It's uh, the North Sea. It's the one that's on the top of the map, the North Sea. The mountain range between Europe and Asia, the Ural Mountains, U-R-A-L, Ural Mountains. Should be D. 52 is D. 53, uh, these are the Alps. Should be letter A. Right through Switzerland. Very picturesque. This is the longest river in Europe, the Danube, F. Does it always look like a river? Some places it looks like a very small creek. You wouldn't recognize it. Letter F, the Danube. And the next spot, number 55, the last one before we move on. Uh, this is letter E. It's the Strait of Gibraltar. There's an R there, Gibraltar. Around the world again, some ones we forgot. South America, 56. What is this country? Write something down. Think about it. It wasn't that long ago you took a quiz. This was on your quiz. The capital is good air, if that helps you. Number 56. Uh, it looks like we covered just about all of the countries and physical features that you have to have. Um, but next, remember, it is also a capitals test. So you need to be able to match the country with the capital. Now, I'm looking right off your review sheet here. Uh, this will really help you out. Ireland's capital is what? Good. Uh, number two. Uh, straight from the review sheet that I gave you two weeks ago. Spain. Sorry. Spain's capital is... Like the Bulls, Madrid. Mad like a bull. Number three. France's capital. Forget Paris. For it. Germany's capital. Berlin. Number five. Italy's capital. The boot country. Rome. Six. Poland's capital. We'll learn this more in World War II, but they saw war in Warsaw. Seven, England's capital, London, eight before we change slides, last one, Norway's capital, on your quiz from yesterday, Oslo, if we need to pause, if you didn't quite get those done, I know we're working fast, we're short on time now. On to your next slide. Number nine. Portugal. Capital is Lisbon. Number ten. Finland's capital. Our famous demonic device. If a fish doesn't have one, then he'll sink he. Okay, so that took care of all the capitals and countries in Europe. Uh, after Europe, uh, the kind of dull one, but somebody will maybe not mess it up. Illinois capital, Springfield. Twelve, Kentucky's capital. Old social studies joke. Frankfurt. 
Number 13, Iowa's capital. Des Moines. Or Des Moines, as they call it. We have to learn how to spell it, though. Missouri's capital. Sorry, Missouri. <laughs> Missouri's capital is Jefferson City. 15. Indiana. Shouldn't be too hard for you. Spell Indiana. N-P-O-L-I-S, meaning city. We'll go on to the next slide before we do South American countries and capitals. We may need to pause if you didn't get it done. But we're short on time. Number 16. Brazil. Very simply, Brasilia with an S. 17. Venezuela. Venezuela. Looks funny when you spell it. Venezuela's capital is Caracas. Eighteen. The country is Argentina. The capital, Buenos Aires. The last two are cake. Mexico, Mexico, Mexico City. And finally, Panama. All right, you should be in pretty good shape. Uh, we're going to spend the last few minutes of class getting you ready for your homework that you did for me last night. Uh, these are several rivers that are in Europe. I, I know we're short on time. We may pause this right now. We'll go full screen so you can see all these rivers. Uh, you may label these for the rest of the hour. Whatever you get past 10 on your map is extra credit. We'll go over these tomorrow and get you ready for your test. The other thing that you need to be able to label for me are Mountains. There are several mountains in Europe uh, throughout Italy that you'll have to label for me. We may have to pause. Guys and girls, thanks for being good listeners. If you need me, I'll be in the building. Have a good rest of the day. Well, um, since we have some time left in class today, uh, many of you need to finish your homework. Your homework last night gave some people some problems. So let's leave this on the board for a few minutes. Uh, I'll be quiet, let you suck in all of these areas. Now, there were several numbers that you had to label for me. Uh, if you can get your homework out, we may need to pause this and get your homework out. Uh, we've done a quick review for your test. We'll continue a review tomorrow. I hope, by the way, the last one you got was Argentina. Sorry, I forgot to throw that in there. Uh, one of the ones that I thought that I'd forgotten. So um, several of these, as you knew, were on your test. Uh, so these are, I googled, rivers in Europe. Number 11 is uh, kind of tricky on your map. I got it vertically. It almost didn't fit as you're labeling these things. Uh, I'll expect that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, I'll sign off and I'll let you finish labeling many of these things. Start to study tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Get your PODs together uh, and come ready for my test on Friday. We can pause this after we switch sides. Uh, physical features, these are mountain areas. If you can kind of read these, there are some more mountains. You can see this is an elevated map here, topographical map. It's up and down and everywhere. We can pause while you label some more. 